welcome back to another video. I am Adele and today we're going to talk about some of the stereotypes uh, girls have or some of the stereotypes of women when it comes to, you know, in a relationship. So the team actually gathered some of the stereotypes and I'm going to react to it or give my two cents about it. Let's go! First one, cannot talk to other girls. Did it all contact? I disagree. Because I think when two person comes into a union or be in a relationship, it is quite ridiculous if you ask your boyfriend or husband to delete all the girls' contact. I mean, the parents and sisters are girls, right? And I think the, the fundamental issue behind this action is lack of trust and insecurity. That's why you feel that you want your other half, your boyfriend or your husband, to delete all the girls' contact so that he cannot have a chance to contact with other girls and therefore he don't have the chance to cheat on you but this action will not cure the root of the issue the root of the issue is lack of trust and insecurity so I think um, we should focus on that and not asking your boyfriend or husband to delete all the girls contact must reply very fast must reply very fast okay personally I disagree because my husband is a barber so when he's cutting hair or when he's training his student to cut hair both hands is on the scissors and the hair <laughs> so it's quite ridiculous if I expect Lex to reply me immediately and I think even for myself as a girl, as a female, as a wife uh, I do have meetings and like for example I'm shooting right now my phones are not with me so if my husband texts me now it is quite impossible for me to reply immediately so I think um, I don't agree with this action because I think again the fundamental issue about this is um, we, we want to feel love and we want to feel care so we feel that you know as long as the husband or boyfriend reply you ASAP then you feel that he cares about you you feel that tatai huni but the truth is uh, I, I think um, you cannot you cannot determine whether a husband or a boyfriend truly cares about you based on the speed you reply I think not entirely true lah but of course there are times where uh, you have to identify if the fella or the guy purposely don't reply you as fast lah that one is up to you Next one, the girlfriend is mad but she don't say she's mad. The girlfriend is mad but she don't say she's mad. Okay, this one I, I think I am like that sometimes too. Like I expect my boyfriend or my husband to, to thumb me, to pujo me, and you know I will be like angry and I'll be mad. But I will say that like, no, I'm not mad lah. I'm not mad lah. <laughs> so I think uh yes. I think females sometimes tend to do that because we just want you to read our minds but no lie, it's impossible for your husband or boyfriend to read your mind it's just, I'm still learning, we gotta communicate and tell your other half like hey, I am mad and I think we should talk about it The guy must remember all the anniversary and initiate a plan Yes, I think this is very important Personally, I feel that anniversary and birthday and Christmas is very very important because it is not just that I want to have an excuse to celebrate but I feel sometimes, especially married couple, you do need something to spice your relationship up so yes, I, I agree The question if the other half loves them mm. I, I, I heard of that before. It means like the girl will keep on ask the boy or the guy or the husband or boyfriend like, Me I will ma. Me I will ma. Do you love me? How much do you love me? I think uh, sometimes it is quite unavoidable because you have to understand the way female function and the way male function is different. Girls need a lot of emotional security. So I think a lot of times when a girl asks that question, the fundamental issue is we want more of the emotional security. Yeah, so maybe guys, tell your girlfriend you love them more. You know, even though you don't feel like it, just say it. <laughs> but you must make the best decision or she will not be happy. Okay, I, I, I definitely am familiar with this situation. It's like, where to eat? I don't know, you decide lah. Chicken rice? No. Japanese? No. Korean? No. Why oh, you don't understand me one? Does that sound familiar? Yes, la, girls are like that. So I'm guilty sometimes, but maybe a uh, solution is you all can start planning what you want to eat next week already. I expect you to carry the bag. I expect you to carry the bag. If luggage bag, yes. La. If handbag, I think it depends. 
So I think there are like a stigma, right? Sometimes they say guy that holds girls back is CC. I personally don't think so. I think it's gentleman. So it's up to you whether um, what do you think. But I think the most important thing is the couple have to communicate lah. You know, if the guy sometimes want to carry or the girl want the guy to carry, we have to make sure the expectations are clear and the motive behind carrying the bag is clear lah. Guys must pay the bill. Guys must pay the bill. Wow, this is a very common um, discussion, I think. Personally, in my relationship, I don't do that 100% because I feel that um, a lot of my needs and wants and my lifestyle, I shouldn't put it on my husband because let's say for example, today I feel like eating fine dining and the dish costs 1,000 ringgit. I want to go there because maybe today I really, really had a celebration but I cannot expect my husband to pay for that 1,000 ringgit lah so I think but of course uh, generally a lot of the household thing um, you have to discuss with your husband and I also think that is social stigma that you know last time traditionally guys have to pay for everything right then girls to stay at home and be housewife role. can you do that? Friend always right unapologetic. Girlfriend always right unapologetic. No la, I don't agree with that at all. Like, 你做错了,你就是要say sorry. 这个是很民主的. It is no, no such thing as just because you are the girl, then forever is the guy is wrong la. Of course, of course we see a lot of articles that say, you know, find a guy that will say sorry even though it is not his fault you know come on you know don't get fooled by the article it's not true we are all mature adults just say sorry when you did something wrong we are humans right everyone make mistakes just say sorry and move on man you know hug and move on spy on the boyfriend is okay to make sure he's not cheating like look at his food spying on the boyfriend or the husband to ensure that he is not cheating wow I personally don't agree with that because the moment you do that, there is a there is a breach of trust. But of course, um, it also depends on how you communicate with the other half, lah. Like for me, sometimes I would want to know what my husband is doing or what are the new projects he's running in his barber shop. So I would ask him, like, hey, you know, instead of you have to explain to me, why not just show me your WhatsApp group? Then when I read it, then he don't have to explain to me, lah. But I will always ask beforehand, lah. All right. So that's my personal opinion into some of these stereotypes and I think most importantly to the couples reading this, regardless you're a guy or a girl, just remember that the fundamental in all relationship is communication, trust and respecting each other. So as long as you constantly communicate and constantly understand each other's love language, each other's love language, I think that that will do. Alright, that's all for today's video. So that's my personal opinion on some of the stereotypes. I hope you enjoy this kind of video. And if you have any suggestion on some of the other stereotypes that you want me to talk about, leave me a comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!